Hello and welcome. Violence broke out yet again in West Bengal's Bhatpara, barely 30 kilometers north of Kolkata. This after a team of BJP leaders visited the violence hit town. The three member BJP delegation visited Bhatpara to review the situation after two people were killed and several were injured in political clashes on Thursday. Moments after the delegation left, two groups clashed with each other and through country made bombs, several persons have been injured. And we're asking tonight, is this a political controversy as the TMC uh, government and the Chief Minister say or is this a need for timely intervention? No end in sight to trouble at Bhatpara. People heckling police, also throwing stones. The police claim a lati charge and more than one person injured. Local anger against police refusing to die down. All this just after three BJP MPs left Bhatpara. They had met families of the two men killed on Thursday and claimed they were killed in police firing. Police ne sab koi police police nahi mara hai. Police nahi mara hai. Police ka jo yahan par press conference karke kaha gaya ki humne hawai mein firing kiya. Are hawa mein fire kiya to aadmi ka sharir mein kaise laga? Aadmi kya hawa mein ud raha tha? Hai? Wo log kya hawa mein ud raha tha? Ye durbhagyajanak hai. Do golgappa bechne wale, phuchka bechne wale garib parivar khatam ho gaye. This claim could be a fresh flashpoint as the state director general of police had categorically said police had fired in the air on Thursday. The BJP visit has already irked TMC. Helicopter netas, that's what TMC called the visiting MPs and accused them of fanning trouble. Congress and CPM leaders also visited Bhatpara today. <laughs> নিশ্চয়ই সেটা তাদের খেয়াল থাকবে এরই মধ্যে যদি কেন্দ্রীয় বিজেপি ইন্ধন দিতে যায় তাহলে তো ওরা এই রাজ্যের লোকরা যদি যেতে চায় তা আমরা তো আটকাতে পারি না ইন্ধন দিচ্ছে বিজেপি একদম 100% বিসাইজ ভাটপাড়া দ্য ব্যারাকপুর লোকসভা সিট টুডে স্প্রাউটেড আ ফ্রেশ ট্রাবল স্পট অ্যাট আমডা লাস্ট ইভনিং আ 22 ইয়ার ওল্ড সিপিএম ওয়ার্কার আকবর who joined BJP recently was beaten dead allegedly by TMC miscreants. Ekhane je attachar hoye je voter samay. Ei journal ke jodi immediate tar team ke jodi immediate police giraftar na kore. Amdanga agami din Nondigram hobe. 356 hok 355 hok Rashtrapati shasan hok. Barakpur turning into Nandigram, President's rule, all this will reach Home Minister Amit Shah's desk next week. The Mantavanji government received two strong advisories from the Home Ministry after the Bushirhat violence a fortnight ago. Will Barakpur invite more such? In Kolkata, Monilipa Banerjee, NDTV. All right, so now the ruling Trinamool Congress and the BJP have both blamed each other, of course, for the clashes, uh, which occur really amidst a tussle for political dominance in the area. We're asking tonight, is this a political controversy or is this really, truly a need for timely intervention? We have Dr. Gargar Chatterjee, a political analyst, also a TMC supporter joining us, Deshratan Nikam, political analyst here in the Delhi studios, and Nicha Chaudhary, a senior journalist, also joining us. Mr. Nikam, first and foremost to you, you hear, the TMC says that uh, the BJP MPs are helicopter MPs. They're really uh, fanning trouble. But honestly, what is the need uh, to visit? And like our story points out, so did the left and so did the Congress leaders. But what is the need to visit an area where you have prohibitory orders uh, in, in place? You know, any political party cannot leave its workers and families when the violence is being perpetuated on them. If that be the case, I don't think uh, uh, the democracy can survive uh, anywhere. And uh, there is a context to it. Bhatpara recently had a municipal elections too. And all 20 se 26 seats went to the BJP. That is where I think the TMC is sensing the ground has shifted from under their feet. 
and and therefore this kind of violence is taking taking place and 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 it is absolutely the responsibility of uh, uh, the chief minister to ensure that no violence takes place and uh, this is continued from pre election days during the election and post election that is the most worrying signs it should have stopped presuming the after the elections and even cpim congress visited and they were asking for cbi inquiry into the killings if you if you recall few days back they had done so ultimately it appears there no, is a they consensus. also visited today so the question holds for them too and i think you're absolutely right the question it doesn't feel like the election is even over in west bengal and is that because there's another assembly election coming up in 2021 but uh, sir you know i just want to reemphasize um, um the question you have a team visiting barakpur they're saying they're going to file a report and send it to uh, the the party chief amit shah about who's responsible but what about also taking responsibility you're visiting an area where there are prohibitory orders in place then you have the bjp mp saying there that it's police firing that killed uh, the 17 year old child really a teenager the police hasn't said that they haven't confirmed that at all you have another bjp mp saying mamta's team of police can kill and murder anyone is this not irresponsible behavior is this not fanning the situation creating more trouble in the end we have a 17 year old who's lost his life who's going to take blame for that see the fact remains it it, it was a fact finding committee which is going to submit its report to the party headquarters and secondly we have seen the partisan attitude of the police where the firs are not even being you know registered against the violence and against the tmc people who are perpetuate perpetrating those violence so we what we are seeing is a one sided narrative and a story coming out of from west bengal Uh, a, a chief minister who prohibits cbi coming and investigating matters in in uh, in west bengal which is she sits on a dharna with the bureaucrats along with uh, other high officials which is uh, not very uh, you know uh, good for the democracy in west bengal she has to take the responsibility for the law and order And All right. She and has and to take responsibility for law and order. Dr. Gaga Chatterjee, um, Mamta Banerjee, the TMC, they were very miffed when the EC scheduled seven phase elections in West Bengal, which was unprecedented. But in the end, despite that, there was so much violence, and that is a failure of the West Bengal government. Over 300 incidents of violence in the run up to the polls, and three pe- three persons killed. So uh, the BJP person. may uh, utter the litany of white lies in front of the people in this media and let me just give you one example of a lie he gave sure, but also I'll respond to the question understand. about example, whether this is a responsibility of mamta banerjee's yes, government to make sure that there's peace and there's no violence in the state i have heard the question so please let me speak so the bjp person gave a litany of lies okay and let me just give you one example of a lie he just said that Uh, the reason behind all of this is because there were recently municipal elections in bhatpara where all 20 seats were won by bjp let me be on record that in the last one year there has been no municipal election in bhatpara okay so he's completely misinformed just making up stories okay for the consumption he doesn't know anything about bengal okay let me tell you that ever since the election has happened what happened before the election a mafia called arjun singh who was a mafia while in trinomul and he remains a mafia while in bjp okay i'm speaking as a bengali i have no uh, compunction in very clearly saying that a mafia is a mafia be it in trinomul or bjp and arjun singh is one such element he created mayhem in that area right after the election ended bengali girl 11 year old bengali girl was killed bengali women were molested bengali houses were burned bengali people were chased out of that area and that happened police tried their best they failed let me be very clear after that when bengalis were largely terrorized out of that area this turned into a hindi urdu sort of a thing on the muslim side and the hindu side non bengalis were not involved and what you see on top of that now because mukul rai who used to be part of trinomul uh, sharoda accused and now has joined bjp and has become mr clean he has brought in his own people large number of people from cpm have joined uh, bjp and very recently bjp new bjp and old bjp people have clashed there are huge number of videos in uh, bangla media mainstream bangla media i am sure the bjp person might be aware of that i do not know okay 
So this is the scenario around which local gangs have now been unleashed and these local gangs are operating locally and are being directed by outsiders. In all of this jamela, you never see a word of Bangla being spoken. And all of these scenarios, all right, look at sir, the even if this is here. the case, though, first Sundar and foremost, Singh, I'm glad you one, admitted one, one, one on last camera point, that one last Mr. Arjun Singh, one last, one last uh, Mr. Point. Mukul Roy, all of them were part of one the TMC. Point, and now one they are part point. of the BJP, but they one were part point, of the one TMC. Last point, one last one last point. One last, yes, I, I, I am speaking as a Bengali, I will admit, I will be the first person to admit. There's nothing to admit, everybody knows. Ask anybody in Bhatpara who this Arjun Singh is and who this Arjun Singh was. He's the same mafia guy. So why was Singh he Alu part Waliya. of the TMC for so long B then? B BJP, B BJP, BJP is a uh, BJP is an anti-Bengali party. The Surinder Singh Aluwalia supports the breaking of Bengal. I challenge the BJP person. Will they support? Will they ever bring a person in BJ in uh, Maharashtra who supports the breakage of Maharashtra? Will they ever bring ever a person for observership? Uh, in Tamil Nadu who supports the breakage of Mr. Tamil Chatterjee, you just Basically, said there are outsiders on, on the, the ground. People. You don't hear anybody speaking Bengali. My question to you simply is, if that is the case yes. and there is violence breaking out, is it not the responsibility of the Chief Minister and the government to crack down on the violence? Section 144 has been implemented and you see an MP who supports the division of Bengal, leading outsider gangs and mobs in the breakage of section 144. This is apparently the ruling party of the union government. With such an assault from every side, with huge amount of money power, you know how much money BJP has, buying people right and left. And now why do you think so many people are joining the BJP? Look at the kind of things which are happening in every state. You do, this is not an isolated thing. And then they will make a case for Article 350. This is Arjun Singh that Mafia was making that case. A Mafia is making cases for law and order. This is where we have come today. Okay. All right, uh, Nija Chaudhary, uh, Nija Chaudhary you know, we've, so, we've seen the, the ANI footage, the, the coverage to. of uh, the BJP delegation visiting on the ground. They rallied through the streets of Bhatpara. There were scores of supporters following them, raising slogans against the Bengal police and the chief minister. Police personnel could be seen using batons to remove protesters who were throwing stones on the streets during the BJP procession. Like I said and like we said in our report, it's not just the BJP delegation, but we also had Congress leaders, we also had leaders from the left. The, the lives of the people of Bengal are being played with by the politicians. Cricket is not the only game being played right now. I think, you know, normally after the elections get over, the violence tends to settle down. But in the case of West Bengal, the pitched battles are continuing every day. And as you were saying, a BJP delegation went there, uh, will be reporting to the Home Ministry, Home Minister. And even after they left, there have been pitched battles. And earlier, of course, Thursday, a couple of people died in Bhatpara. Now, uh, certainly it is the responsibility of Mamta Banerjee <coughs> to ensure that law and order is maintained in her state, of which she is the chief minister. There's no doubt about it. There's no two opinions about it. Uh, how it is to be done, and of course, conflict takes place when two sides fight. If one side had just caved in and sat down, there would be no conflict. And it seems to me, given the, uh, g given the blood tasting by the BJP in the Lok Sabha elections when it got a whopping 40% and uh, so many Lok Sabha seats, it is now preparing for uh, the elections in the state assembly in 2021. They they're going to go, they and, want to go uh, all the way, so we should expect Banerjee more of this. There's going to be no respite because back. we have elections in 2021. <clears throat> I think we will, we will, yeah, and whether, uh, that's right, and there may be an outcry, and already the governor had said after meeting the home minister and the prime minister, that uh, if the situation deteriorates, we'll have to think of article 356, Mr. Kel Kelash Vijayvargya had said exactly the same thing, that if, if the if, uh, situation deteriorates, we will demand that article 356 be used, and certainly with this kind of news coming every day from West Bengal, whether, uh, you know, if the situation is headed for, I don't think we will see respite. You're absolutely right in the next coming months and couple of years. 
All right, and and uh, lastly again, Mr. Nigam, again to you, you know, specifically here we seem to have a contradiction between what Mr. Aluwalia is claiming before the police has done an investigation, before uh, there are any facts on board. He's claimed he's already presupposed and put the blame on police firing for which the 17-year-old among and one other person lost their lives. Isn't See, that jumping the gun and isn't that highly irresponsible? The first thing about Bhatpada, uh, let me tell you, it is uh, the, probably there was some confusion. It was the uh, election of the chairman of the municip municipality and BJP has taken control for the first time. And uh, that is probably was the confusion about the election. The election took place about the chairman of the municipality and the person Saurav Singh won. And, and, and let me tell you, that was a fact-finding committee. And, uh, and certainly there should be an independent inquiry, a CBI inquiry, anything which goes into, because we have seen the partisan attitude of the police out there. They don't even register FIRs, I've already submitted to you. And even otherwise also, there's a one-sided police force is acting uh, as if, uh, uh, as a personal property of the chief minister. So in order to, you know, save West Bengal, you require some kind of an independent agency. But you know, uh, this sir, is, after this, the incident took place this on Thursday, uh, the chief minister changed the police commissioner also. You know, changing police commissioner does... Well, she's then, acted on it. No, no, that's fine. Changing police commissioner is not changing the culture out there. The culture of violence which was there when the communists were ruling has been inherited and, you know, very uh, internalized by the TMC. That is what exactly is going on. So that culture is still continuing. It has to be stopped somewhere. And the only party with which, which is left out there to resist the violence of TMC is the BJP. Congress and the left today have left the ground open. And, and therefore, somebody out there has to resist the you know, violence which has been perpetrated by the TMC. Uh, Mr. Gargachari, last word to you. BJP has been conducting an anti-Bengali program through outsider goons this are, it has brought in using its huge money power. Okay, Now it has also brought in people from Kies, Tinomul and also CPM and now there are clashes between old BJP and new BJP because everybody is smelling blood money. I am thankful to the BJP person that the person must have been informed then or by Google or whatever reason that the person made an error. Thank you for admitting that you did not know about Bengal and I also thank the person who let you know and updated you. Let me finally say that we Bengalis do not need lessons about culture from those who break Ishwar Chandra Vidya Shagur statue. So you may have corrected Mr. Nigam, but the fact is there has been a huge jump in the BJP vote share and Mr. Arjun Singh did jump over from the TMC to yes, the BJP course. and then won of in Barakpur, right? So whether it's municipal elections or... And Arjun there has Singh been a jump in the Tinomul vote share. And there has been a jump in the Tinomul vote share over 2014 Lok Sabha elections. You don't call a 3% a jump, you call a jump when it is about 22-23%. But they were pretty saturated. We are not in the game of getting money from Adani and Ambani. So don't please, make defamatory do statements. All right, don't all right. make defamatory all right, statements. Let's not, let's you not are get making into, a defamatory uh, statement this, without a, lot of a single eye out of truth. Yes, please lodge a case. Panelists. Please lodge a case. Let's, let's, let's end it there. Please we want to focus case. on the violence right now. We want to see if there are any ways that we can quell it. But thank you so much, Mr. Chatterjee, Mr. Nigam and uh, Nija Chaudhary. Thank you for joining us tonight.